our topic today is multiplying fraction. Okay. Papaano po ba ginagawa ang multiplying fraction? O ang pagmumultiply ng isang fraction? Oh, let's do it. Sa multiplying fraction, kukunin mo lang ang dalawang top at ang dalawang bottom. O ang sinasabi nilang numerator at ang denominator. Tulad dito. 2 times 1 over 3 times 2. Ganun lang po kadali ginagawa ang multiplication. 2 times 1 is equals to 2. 3 times 2 is equals to 6. Kailangan po marunong po kayong mag magsimplify. Kailangan, uh, paano po magsimplify? Kukuha po kayo or maghahanap kayo ng number na po pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. Pwedeng i-divide sa numerator at pwedeng i-divide sa denominator. Tulad ng 2, pwedeng i-divide sa 2, pwedeng i-divide sa 6. 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1. 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. 1 third is the answer. Okay. Second example, kukunin po ang dalawang numerator, 1 times 2, at ang dalawang denominator, 5 times 3. 1 times 2 is equals to 2, 5 times 3 is equals to 15. 215 is the answer. Third example, 3 over 5 times 4. Alam nyo po ba na ang whole number is may constant siyang over 1? Hindi na po yun isinusulat. Sa isip lang po natin yun. Lahat po ng whole number may over 1. So, ang gagawin po natin, 3 times 4, 5 times 1. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And 5 times 1 is equals to 5. Makikita po natin ang kanyang sagot is improper fraction. Bakit po tinatawag na improper fraction? Dahil po mas mataas ang numerator kesa kay denominator. At sa ganitong sagot, hindi po siya tatanggapin ni teacher. Kailangan po natin isimplify using long method division. Ano po yun? I-divide po natin ang 12 sa 5. Kuha tayo ng scratch. Kailangan po marunong kayong mag-divide. Five times twelve. I uh, sorry, uh, twelve divided by five is equals to two. Two times five is equals to ten. Ma minus po natin twelve minus ten is equals to two. Ang sagot po niya ang gagawin natin whole number. Ang remainder ay gagawin natin numerator at ang five bilang denominator. That is the answer. Last example, sabi nga po natin, ang lahat ng whole number ay may over 1. So, 6 times 1 over 1 times 2. 6 times 1, 1 times 2. Mataas ang numerator kay denominator, kaya i-divide po natin siya ulit. 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. Ganun po ginagawa ang multiplying fraction. E paano po mag-multiply kapag may mixed number? Yun po ang ituturo natin para sa ating next clip. Yan. Sagutan na po natin ang multiplying mixed number. Ang mixed number ay may kasamang whole number. First step po natin na gagawin is isisimplify muna natin or i-convert natin ang mixed number into improper fraction. Katulad po ng naituro ko sa mga previous video ko. 3 times 1 is equals to 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Kukopyahin po ang denominator. 1 4 times 1 is equals to 4 3 times 3 is equals to 9 4 9 is the answer second example 2 times 1 and 1 half ang whole number ay may constant po siyang over 1 kahit hindi na po natin sinusulat pero automatic may over 1 po siya kukopyahin natin si 2 times Isisimplify natin or i-convert po natin 
si 1 and 1 half in 2 improper fraction. 2 times 1 is equals to 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. Pukotehin po ang denominator. Sabi ko nga po, ang whole number ay may over 1. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. 1 times 2 is equals to 2. 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3. That is the answer. Let's go for the third example. Simply by 3 times 1 is equals to 3 plus 2. That is 5 over 3. Kopyahin ang operation as si 1 third. 5 times 1 is equals to 5. 3 times 3 is equals to 9. Ganun po ginagawa ang multiplying mixed number. Top to top, bottom to bottom. Again, 3 times 1 is equals to 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Kopyahin po natin ang denominator. Pansin nyo po, ang whole number, automatic po, meron siyang over 1. 2 over 1. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. Equal po ito. Sorry. Equal po yan. Equal. 4 times 2 is equals to 8. 3 times 1 is equals to 3. Pag mataas po ang numerator, kesa kay denominator, gagamit po tayo ng long method division. Kapag po tayo ng scratch. 8 divided by 3. 2 times 3. Plus 2. Pupunin po natin ang answer niya as a whole number. Yung remainder as numerator. At ito po ay bilang denominator. Ganun lang po ginagawa ang multiplying mixed number. Next clip po na ituturo natin is dividing fraction. Be ready! Natutuwa po talaga ako dahil habang wala akong ginagawa at nasa bahay lang, walang trabaho, so nakakapag-share po tayo ng konting knowledge. Okay, nakagawa na po tayo ng dividing fraction. Sa dividing fraction po, meron po tayong rule dyan. Ang sabi po dito, get the reciprocal. Paano, ano po ba yung reciprocal na sinasabi? Ibig sabihin, ang isang uh, fraction Yung i-divide nyo po sa kanya is babaligta rin nyo po. So, kung 1, 2, magiging 2, 1. Ganito po. Sana po nasusundan nyo ako. Sundan nyo po ako sa akin gagawin. Kopyahin po ang 3 and 5 para hindi malito. Papalitan po ang division ng multiplication. At babaligta din, at babaligta rin po natin ang 1 half magiging 2, 1. Ito po ang tinatawag na reciprocal. Ngayon po, makikita po natin ang multiplication. Alam naman po natin kung papaano kinocompute ang multiplication tulad ng nasabi ko sa previous video ko. Okay? 3 times 2 is equals to 6. 5 times 1 is equals to 5. Dahil po mas mataas ang numerator kay denominator, kailangan po natin siyang i-divide. Kuha po tayo ng scratch. maliwanan. Kailangan po marunong tayo, kailangan po marunong tayo mag-divide. 6 divided by 5, ilang 5 ang makukuha sa 6? Isa. 1 times 5 is equals to 5, ima-minus po siya natin dito. 6 minus 5 is equals to 1. Kukunin po natin to bilang whole number. 1 at ang uh, at ang remainder bilang numerator at ang 5 bilang denominator. Ang sagot po natin dyan is 1 and 1 fifth. Next example, 2 and 4, kukopyahin po natin siya. Palitan po ang operation ng multiplication at babalik na rin po natin ang 1 fourth magiging 4 1. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 4 times 1 is equals to 4. 8 divided by 4 is equals to 2. Next example, copy the first row. Change the operation into multiplication and then get the reciprocal of this fraction. 
3 times 3 is equal to 9. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Because 9 is higher than 4, kailangan po natin gumamit ng division. 9 divided by 4, gawa po tayo ng stretch. divided by 4 2 times 4 is equals to 8 1 2 1 4 ok po 1 po ok last example 4 and 5 change the operation ang division magiging multiplication Get the reciprocal of 1 half, that is 2, 1. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Again, mas mataas ang numerator sa denominator, kailangan na naman po natin mag-divide. One as a whole number, three fifth. Nasusundan nyo po ako kung paano ginagawa ang dividing fraction. Lang po natin ang reciprocal, then imumultiply na po natin siya. Ganun lang po kadali ang dividing fraction. E papaano naman po kung may kasamang whole number o ang tinatawag nating mixed number. Yun po ay tuturo natin sa ating next clip. Jaran! Dividing mixed number. Okay, papaano po natin ginagawa ang dividing mixed number? Sabihin, ang mixed number po is may whole number siyang kasama. So, isisimplify po natin siya or i-convert po natin siya into improper fraction para maging mas madali ang lahat. 2 times 2, 4 plus 1 is equals to 5. Kopyahin ang denominator, 2. Sabi ko nga po, pag division, Papalitan po natin siya ng operation, magiging multiplication. At sa division, get the reciprocal. Ang 1, 2 ay magiging 2, 1. Kung multiply na po natin siya, 5 times 2 is equals to 10. 2 times 1 is equals to 2. 10 divided by 2 is equals to 5. Next example, ang whole number ay may over 1. Nakahide lang po siya, pero lahat po ng whole number ay may over 1. So, kukopyahin po natin siya. 3 over 1. Papalitan po natin ng multiplication. At isisimplify natin. 3 times 1 is equals to 3. Plus 1 is equals to 4. Kopyahin ang denominator. 3 times 4 is equals to 12. 1 times 3 is equals to 3. 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4 nakakasunod. Ganun lang po ginagawa ang dividing mixed number. Uh, third example, convert the mixed fraction. Okay. Convert the mixed number into improper fraction. 3 times 3, 9. Plus 1 is equals to 10. Kopyahin ang denominator. Palitan ang operation. Get the reciprocal of 1 third. That is 3, 1. We multiply po ang numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. 10 times 3 is equal to 30. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10. Nakakasunod? Okay. Mixed number, convert it into improper fraction. 2 times 5 is equal to 10 plus 1 is 11. Kopyahin ang denominator. Palitan ang operation. Ang 2 at ang, ang 2 ay whole number, kaya may over 1. So, magiging 1 over 2. Pagkatapos natin kunin ang reciprocal. 11 times 1 is equal to 11. And 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Dahil improper fraction, hindi po natin siya pwedeng isagot kay teacher. So, i-divide po natin siya using long method division. 11 divided by 4. Pukuha po tayo ng scratch. Four. Eleven. Eleven divided by four. Two times four is equal to eight. Minus three. Two. Two. 
and three four is the answer. Ganun po ginagawa ang dividing mixed number. So, sana po may natutunan kayo ulit sa aking itinuro ngayon. And then, standby lang po kayo para sa ating next video pan o para ma-practice po yung ating mga uh, kaalaman. Maraming salamat po. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. This is Ate Shaila.